Okay, so I have a very exciting premise in order to choose my books this month. I'm really excited. I cannot wait. Hopefully you are as excited as I am about this idea. So I did a quick YouTube search and one other person that I can find has done this before. I haven't watched her video because I didn't want to be influenced by what she's done. I've just seen the title and the thumbnail, but all credit goes to her. I will put her username right here at the bottom so you can go check out her video and link that below and in the whichever corner it is that the little eye pops up to give you a link. All credit goes to her for this idea. We've both had it like independently of each other. I just got very excited when I thought of this. What we're doing today is we're going to pick what books I'm gonna read based on what my villagers from Animal Crossing say to me. If you've never played Animal Crossing, it's a game where you have a deserted island to start with that you have to build up and you get to invite villagers to your island to live with you and they're all different cute animals. <laughs> One of the things I like to do every day with my villagers is to talk to them, obviously. <laughs> sometimes they say very generic, boring things and sometimes they say really weird, esoteric, specific, odd stuff and that is what inspired me to think of this challenge because I just thought, what if I had to read a book that was based on the topic that they talk to me about. So say somebody talked to me about fishing, a little boring, but I would have to find a book to read that was about fishing. I think with this challenge though, you can also interpret things a little bit more like abstractly. You can think outside the box. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to all of my villagers and I'm gonna pick between five and seven books based on what they talk about to read this month. I am excited. I have no idea what they're gonna say. I have no idea. It could be really random. I'm hoping to pick books that I already want to read that are already on my TBR list. So I'm nervous, I'm excited. I think this is just kooky and fun little challenge. I'm also still planning to do a reading seven books in seven days challenge. So hopefully I can pick some short books from this that I will be able to read in one day. But who knows? I thought of some basic rules for this challenge. If you wanna know more about what my exact rules are, I will list them down below. One of the main ones that I think will come up is if they say something too generic, I'm gonna talk to them again because very often a villager will say something like, oh, what a lovely sunny day it is, or oh, it's raining, what a shame. I think that's gonna get very boring and very repetitive if I always have to pick books about the rain or the sun. So if they say something really generic, I'm just gonna skip it. So let's get into the game. All right, here we go. My character's called Shinbon, by the way. That's based on kind of a joke about somebody who had never heard how to pronounce my name and decided from the spelling of it to pronounce it Shinbon, which to be fair is funny. If you didn't know, it's Siobhan, by the way. <laughs> I haven't got any fancy camera capture technology for this, so I've literally just got my phone on a tripod filming this screen. <laughs> so I apologize if it's not great quality. Oh, hey, Isabel. Ooh, I've got a shooting stars tonight. This is my island, by the way. Oh yeah, my island is called Hogwarts. This, this was obviously pre-JK Rowling coming out as a total asshole. So we've got me, Flurry, Barbara, Hagrid, who is also me, Pashmina, Chrissy, Skye, Rold, Lionel, Fauna, Freya, and Dobie. Okay, so this is my character, this is Shinbon. So she's gonna go wander around and see if we can find any villagers. Ooh, money, we got my money. Oh, I'll collect that later. Ooh, I just spotted Flurry, she's just behind the resident services, hold on. There you are. So Flurry, what have you got for me? Okay, so this is it. So this is what I'm gonna use to decide what books I'm gonna be reading. Whew. Fingers crossed. She gives me something good. Don't say something generic like, oh, what a lovely sunny day it is. Yeah, there we go, something generic. So I'm gonna have to speak to her again until she gives me something more interesting. Don't you think the plaza makes our island seem more cosmopolitan? I feel chic just reading or chatting with a neighbor if I'm on the plaza. Something cosmopolitan. Maybe a book that is set in a city? You know what? I think it's gonna be Ian and Banks, the player of games. This is set in a future society where humans and technology are really intertwined. So I wonder if 
this would be a good fit for like a cosmopolitan book because I believe it's set in like a lot of very technologically advanced cities. So I know that's stretching the concept a little bit, but this is the main thing that I can think of for cosmopolitan. So that is the first book that I'm picking. Okay. <gasps> there's Lionel. Oh, there's Barbara. Okay, I think I'm gonna speak to, oh, there's Rolls. I'll speak to Barbara actually, there she is, okay. Hun, darling, thank you for saying hello. I got up bright and early today, darling. After all, you know what they say, the early sheep gets their to-do list done. I think that counts as too generic. Come on, Barbara, give me something more specific. Well, hello, is everything all right, darling? As long as this lovely weather continues, the stars should be gorgeous tonight. If I go for a walk under the starry sky, I might even see some falling stars. Okay, so maybe something with stars in the title? I think I'm gonna go for something I've been really excited to read. I've really wanted to read it for a long time. Oh, I'm between two. Okay, I'm between two books for this one. I'm excited about it though. One book I can think of is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, which obviously has star in the title, but maybe is less about space and the stars. And then the other one is The Weight of the Stars. I can't remember the name of the author, but I'm gonna put it here, which I think is like a space training book. Ooh, both of these I'm really excited about. I'm gonna have a think about which one I'm gonna pick, but it's definitely gonna be between these two for the stars prompt. Yes, thank you, Barbara. Right, who have I got now? Who's next? Oh, here's Chrissy. Chrissy is a peppy villager and peppy villagers like to talk a lot about being a celebrity and being a star, so might be something celebrity themed. Hey, it's super great to see you. What do you need? Exercising outdoors is the best feeling ever. Do I have to read a book about exercising? And that electric kick scooter looks like a great way to do it. Exercising outdoors and a scooter. I was hoping she was going to talk about being famous so I could pick a book about being... I don't think I have any books about exercising outdoors. I'm going to have to think and look on my Goodreads TBR and see if there is anything that fits that bill. I've already spoken to Barbara. Who else is around? Ooh, Sky's in her house. Oh, she's crafting. Right, so I'm gonna get the DIY off of her and then I'll speak to her and find out what she says. What's on your mind, airmail? What's the latest? I'm trying to get to know the community better. <gasps> she gonna ask me a question? That's why I've been going around asking everyone questions lately. I've read that the right questions can reveal someone's personality. With that in mind, okay, so she's gonna ask me a question. I think I'm just gonna pick whichever one's most appealing to me. What's your favorite kind of music to listen to, airmail? Ooh. Gotta pick a book about music. I'm actually gonna get a laptop out to look at my Goodreads. Okay, so I had a bit more of a look at my Goodreads TBR and I found two books on there that I think could work really well for music. So I've got either Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker. It sounds gorgeous. I think this is YA, contemporary fiction. So that's one option for music that I'll consider. And then the other option is On The Come Up by Angie Thomas. This sounds so cool. I've heard great things about it. I've also heard that the audiobook is amazing because Angie Thomas, who is herself a rap artist, has like narrated the audiobook and like does all the rap herself, which sounds awesome. So that, I'm really leaning towards that one. The only issue is it is longer than Who Put This Song On. And if I am gonna do seven books in seven days, am I gonna have time to do a book that is 464 pages? But fuck it, maybe I'll do it because I am excited to read it. So yeah, thank you Sky for that one. That's a great recommendation. <laughs> Yay! I'm really glad I've got a couple of really good picks from this already. So hopefully the next villager doesn't spoil it for me. This is gonna decide who my favorite villager is now. Wandering around. Ooh, Pashmina's in her house. Hi Pashmina. How goes it Shinbon? What brings you to my place? That can't possibly be a sea bass in your pocket, can it? I'm not reading a book about fishing. Okay, so priceless ain't a word I'd use here, but I'd totally be willing to fork over 600 bells. Go on then. That rules, everybody should have a friend like you, kidders. I, I don't wanna read a book about a sea bass. I don't know any books about fishing, but I could read a book about water. Or a book about mermaids, about like people who are like half human, half fish. <laughs> that kind of fits, right? There is one book that I'm thinking of that could be great and it's called The Deep by Rivers Solomon. It says here, 
It's about water breathing descendants of African slave women tossed overboard and they built their own underwater society. They must reclaim the memories of their past to shape their future in this brilliantly imaginative novella. So it's kind of an allegory for racial trauma. It's a novella which fits into my reading seven books in seven days challenge and it's been on my TBR for a while so that's exciting. Good pick from Pashmina. I stretch that concept a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind. I really don't want to read about fishing, okay? <laughs> but I'll read about underwater beings who've spoken to Sky, Flurry, Barbara, Lionel. What's the good word? Is it precisely? <laughs> I don't understand Lionel's catchphrase here. What does it mean? Check it out. I'm wearing the royal shirt you got me a while ago. I think about you every time I rock this outfit. That's nice. I got him that because he is such a king. Right, I know exactly what to pick for this one. Thank you, Lionel. I am gonna pick Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. So this I talked about in my most recent haul video. This is a queer romance that is based in a Scottish boarding school that kind of plays on that trope of an undercover royal. So I am excited for this one. I haven't talked to all my villagers yet and I've already got some great recommendations. I'm so excited for the next seven days of reading. Let's continue. Sometimes they're quite elusive to find these villagers. Oh, Doby! Doby is my favourite villager. He's such a cute, cranky little old man, so he better give me a good recommendation. Something up? Let's talk. The weather's been pretty nice today, don't you think? I didn't say this, but tonight could be a real good night for watching the stars. Okay, we've already got a stars recommendation, but maybe that just means I need to read both of those books, because stars have come up twice now. So I need to read The Weight of the Stars and The Starless Sea. The Starless Sea is long though. There's another book about stars that I found looking through my TBR, which is The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Jonoda Petrus. This one I found through a recommendation through a booktube, but I can't remember who it was precisely, but I will post a link to that video where I found the recommendation to this one below. Ooh, this is a queer story between two black girls from very different backgrounds, finding love and happiness in a world that seems determined to deny them both. 312 pages, I think that's doable in a day. So it may be that I pick The Weight of the Stars and The Stars and the Blackness Between them. I'll let you know at the end exactly what I picked. I'll speak to him again one more time. How's it going? Um. Shops, how would you feel about catching a bug for me? I've been trying to catch a bug while it's pollinating, but I keep scaring them off with my clumsy old reflexes. You're young and spry. Would you be willing to snag a bug off a flower for your old pal Dobie? Okay, sure. I wonder if, like, the only book about a bug I can think of is, like, The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, which I'm not sure I am keen to read the metamorphosis again, like, immediately. But I'm thinking if there's a cover that has a flower or a bug on it, that could be applicable. So, let's have a look at my TBR list. Is this my excuse to read Felix Ever After? Because Felix Ever After has flowers on the cover. It might well be. I mean, I don't know when it's going to arrive is the only issue because there's only one place I could find to get it online in the UK and that was Amazon. And it says now that it's not going to be delivered for a while, that it's like not in stock right now and that they're just waiting for restock. Ooh, but you know what could work? All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. He's got like a lovely crown of flowers on his head. This is a series of personal essays by prominent journalist and LGBTQIA plus activist George M. Johnson, exploring his childhood, adolescence and college years in New Jersey and Virginia. Ooh, I've heard excellent things about this as well. So, so that might be my next pick then. Oh, I'm excited. There's so many good picks and so many like diverse picks from this as well. I'm so excited. I haven't spoken to Freya or Fauna. So let's start with Freya. Well, if it isn't Shinbon, I didn't know you were friendly with Fauna. We should all sit down with a nice mug of iced coffee and have a chat later. Coffee. I'm wondering if there are any books set in coffee shops that I could pick or find. Fauna, speak to me, girl. What's up, dearie? I want to chat. I try not to live my life by the clock, but it's hard not to worry about how much time it takes me to do things. Lately, I've been trying not to time myself by looking at my cuckoo clock. Time! I wish, again, that I hadn't read This Is How You Lose the Time War, because that would be a perfect book for this prompt. Time, time, time. 
I've also previously read The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Mascarenas, and I didn't love this book. I love the concept and the characters, but I found her writing style to be irritating, and I didn't think she was very good at writing dialogue, but that would be another recommendation if you're thinking about reading about time. It, it does have some very interesting concepts in here, so I would recommend it, even though I didn't love it. I'm trying to think if I know any of the books or if I want in, to read any other books that involve time travel or... I don't think I have any time travel books on my TBR, which is a crime. If you know of any great time travel books, please recommend them down below. So this is Siobhan from the future here. I just realised I'm an idiot. I have a book right behind me called Seconds, a graphic novel by Brian Lee O'Malley. I think it means seconds as in like a second portion of a meal, but seconds is also a unit of time, right? So I think this one could count for my time recommendation. This is a graphic novel by the author who wrote Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This is one of your recommendations, so thank you very much for this. I'm thinking because it's a graphic novel, it's gonna be quite quick to read through, so it'll be good for my seven books in seven days. It might become 10 books in 10 days because I think I have picked way more than seven books in this video, but I just got so excited I wanted to speak to every villager. So we've spoken to everyone now but Roald. Let's see if we can find Tengi Boy. He's probably going to talk to me about sport. I do not want to read a book about sport, but if he talks to me about sport, I gotta read a book about sport. Oh no! He's got a bubble. Sometimes that means that they want to leave. I'm hoping he just wants to give me a gift because Roald is not leaving my island. Lately folks have been calling you Hun, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey, do you mind if I call you Hun too, bu buddy? Okay, he just wants to give me a nickname. Oh no, now I've lost Roald. Oh, there he is. He's fishing. Better not freaking talk to me about fishing. Look at my villages, aren't they cute? Naruto running around. Hello. Yay, go Baba. <gasps> He's not fishing anymore. Okay. I saw Sahara setting up a little while ago. Getting all the way out here has to, got to be tough. Plus she's got to haul all those rugs, bu buddy. I bet her arms are buff. Okay. Travelling, right? Sahara is all about travelling. She travels here from afar to bring these rugs to you, which is near. I think I'm going to pick something that is travel related. Is that stretching it a little bit? Maybe. I'm going to pick something about a roaming troop of librarians who are travelling through deserty climates in the south in the apocalypse. By the south I mean the south of the US, not the south of England. That would be somewhat less aesthetically pleasing. So I'm gonna pick Upright Women Wanted by Sarah Gailey. Unfortunately this morning I did a terrible thing and accidentally spilt a whole glass of water over my brand new book. I'm so sad. It's drying out at the moment. I've, I've put some protective measures in place to make sure it hopefully doesn't get creased. I've already started reading a little bit of it so I'm really excited to finish. So that's gonna be my last pick. Okay, this is so exciting. I have all of my picks. So I'm gonna go through all of them. My first pick from Flurry, she talked about feeling cosmopolitan. And so I picked Player of Games by Ian M. Banks because it is set in a futuristic city. Next, I talked to Barbara who talked about the stars. So I picked The Weight of the Stars by Kay Ancrum which is a space training book. So exciting. Next I spoke to Chrissy, who recommended something about exercising outdoors. I just can't think of a book about this. So I think this is gonna be my veto in that I'm not going to pick a book based on exercising outdoors. If you have any that you want me to read, however, let me know and maybe I'll consider reading it in the future. Next, I spoke to Sky, who talked to me about music. My pick for this one is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which is a book about a young rap artist. So excited for this one. After that, I spoke to Pashmina, who talked about a sea bass. <laughs> <laughs> and so we went for The Deep by River Solomon, which is about a race of mermaids. Then I spoke to Lionel, who thanked me for giving him a royal shirt. From this one I picked Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. It's about a princess undercover at a Scottish boarding school. Next I spoke to Dobie, who spoke about the stars again. So I picked The Stars and the Blackness Between Them by Janada Petrus, which is a story of two young black women overcoming society's pressures. He also talked to me about bugs and a flower and so from that I picked a book that had a flower on the cover which is All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson, a collection of essays 
about his life. Then I spoke to Freya who talked about coffee. Okay, so I tried. I really tried to find a book about coffee that I would be interested in, but none of the ones that I found looked particularly good or interesting. So please let me know if you know of any like coffee shop set books or coffee books that are good. I would really like to find one. Then after that, we have Fauna who talked about time. And so I picked Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley a graphic novel which is about a young girl who is a chef who gets involved in kind of a magical realism thing happens to her. I don't know much about this one but I'm excited. Lastly, Rold talked about Sahara who talks about traveling a lot and so I picked Upright Women Wanted by Sarah Gailey which is about a traveling troupe of women librarians in the post-apocalyptic southern America and it's queer. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so those are my picks. I hope you enjoyed this slightly wacky concept for picking the books that I'm gonna read. I hope you don't mind the prompts that I just couldn't think of books for. I clearly need to read more. <laughs> so please fill in those gaps if you know books about exercising outdoors and if you know books about coffee that would be really cool. But I didn't want to pick something just for the sake of picking something and really end up like hating it and just not enjoying reading. So that is the nine books that I ended up picking to read this month, seven of which I'm going to read in seven days for my next video. Thank you very much for sticking around. Please, if you've stuck around this far, give it a like, consider subscribing and commenting. All of that stuff helps with the nightmare that is the YouTube algorithm. May your turnip prices rise. Bye.